Maybe. Buckeyes going for another Big Ten title. Northwestern standing in the way for the call. Joel Klatt and Gus Johnson. Welcome to the Big Ten Championship game on Fox, presented by Discover, and we've got a good one for you. As the 14th-ranked Northwestern Wildcats face off against 4th-ranked Ohio State for all the marbles here in Indy. Hi everybody, I'm Gus Johnson along with my partner Joel Klatt and welcome to Indianapolis in the 2020 Big Ten Championship game. Ohio State going for their fourth straight Big Ten Championship and a win today. They'll punch their ticket into the college football playoff and Joel, they'll be looking forward to their Heisman Trophy uh, candidate yeah. quarterback to lead the way. Well, he's going to have to, right? Because again, today, Ohio State's going to have to play a little shorthanded. We'll have a, uh, more on that in just a little bit. But Justin Fields has got to be great. I mean, that's just the bottom line. And he is a great player. Listen, 18 and 1, folks. He is a winner. He throws for a very high percentage, but he will be without some wide receivers on the outside. He's going to have to create big plays with his feet. That's something that Northwestern's defense has struggled with, even though they play great defense Justin Fields today for Ohio State has to be the best player on the field if he is the best player on the field which he normally is then they'll likely take home some hardware but if he struggles like he did against Indiana then who knows and this is a Northwestern defense that creates a lot of takeaways Gus as for Northwestern last year they finished three and nine Pat Fitzgerald their head coach after the season said hey we're going to fix everything. Mm -hmm. We guarantee it, and we'll see in the Big Ten Championship next year. <laughs> They're in the Big Ten Championship this year, and they've got some linebackers Ooh. that will knock your block off. I was going to say, like, if you're going to make proclamations like that, you better know who's coming back on your team. And Pat Fitzgerald knew that the heartbeat, the heart and soul of his team was going to be those linebackers led by Patty Fisher. Gus feels like we've been calling his game for 10 years now, right? He's got like a 1,000 tackles, one of the best players in all of the Big Ten. They've got Chris Bergen back there. They've got Blake Gallagher. Their defense is salty. They get off the field on third down. They're terrific in the red zone. Like I said earlier, they create a lot of takeaways. If this defense can create that muddy playing field for Ohio State, then who knows for this Wildcat team. But, hey, they've got to be led by that defense. Time now to join the third member of our team on the sideline, the All-American girl. Jenny Tad. Well, guys, it really has been a season of adversity for Ohio State, and today, no different. 22 players will not be available, and really most notably, leading receiver Chris Olave. Really, he and Garrett Wilson have established themselves as the most dynamic duo in college football in the country. Yesterday, when we spoke with Coach Ryan Day about some of his young, promising receivers, he told us it's time for them to step up. They came to Ohio State for a reason. What will they do in the spotlight. Now, defense and special teams will also be impacted today. Linebacker Baron Browning out along with punter Drew Chrisman. And in talking to Justin Fields this week, though, he said nothing phases this team. We will lean on each other. We will find a way to get it done because they've got a goal at Ohio State. It's to win another conference championship. And then they want to keep this thing going much further. All right, Jenny, thank you very much. Coming up after the break, it's time to get the Big Ten East and West champions onto the field. Team introductions when we come back. 